Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. What will you say when the Houthis, the Yemenis, will strike targets inside the United States of America and the UK? I'm talking about those bad people from Yemen, the Houthis. What will you say? Well, I kind of know what the media will say and I kind of know what most people will say because most people are baboons and they will just pick whatever the media vomits on them and they will just uh, chew it a little bit and then spit it back to us, the good people. <laughs> I don't want to consider us good people. I want to consider us uh, smart people first and then good. Now, what's going on here? The Houthis vowed fierce retaliation after American and British strikes against them, according to Associated Press. I wonder if the media or you will, or not you, but people here, will say that um, they hate our freedom. See, that's the evidence that we did the right thing by uh, defending ourselves and attacking their country and violating their airspace which is Yemen. So let me show you this little article because they are getting ready for this. I'm, I'm predicting uh, Yemeni attacks. They're going to be called, obviously, terrorist attacks uh, and uh, how the media will take it. See, we were right. We did a good thing that we tried to destroy the evil and should, we should continue. We don't go chronologically and we don't get all the facts. We get only the facts we, they, Get only the facts that fit the narrative, which is in self-defense of us and our allies in the Middle East, um, let's put it singular, ally in the Middle East, then we had to do this. So Houthi rebels vow fierce retalia retaliation after American and British strikes against them, the Associated Press says today on the 12th of January 2024. Yemen's Houthi rebels vowed fierce retaliation Friday for American and British strikes against them, further raising the prospect of a wider conflict in the region already beset by Israel war in Gaza. The bombardment launched a response. So we respond because they all attack the strong people. Like in reality, in your life, weak people always or weak entities always challenge the big people because they know they can beat the big, big people. Like uh, Yemen knows that it can defeat the United States of America, Great Britain, and other uh, countries like that. Uh, in a recent campaign of drone and missile attacks on commercial ships in the vital Red Sea. Whose commercial ships? That's very important. Were they American? Oh, no, no, we just defend everybody. Okay, got it. And hey, they attacked us as well. The Pentagon says. <laughs> yeah, and uh, trustworthy. Killed at least five people and wounded six, the Houthis say. The US said the strikes took aim at more than 60 targets in 16 different locations across Houthi controlled areas of Yemen. And we reserve the right to hit inside a sovereign country because we say so and we defend ourselves. So we have to, right? I'm not going to go here because these guys are just right now telling us what we already know, who these are bad and we are good. And uh, let's see if this guy's heavy right here. This is what the article should be all about. The Houthis military spokesman, Brigadier General Yahya Sari, said in a recorded address that the strikes would, and I'm going to not go unanswered or unpunished. So what will they hit? Military, target, military targets? and civilians or just military targets? What do you think? Remember, I don't want you to come later and say, well, they attacked us. Uh, that proves these guys are bad. Because if you do like that, then you have to say the same as Russia said. NATO is there to get us. The evidence is, look what they do in Ukraine. They support Ukraine. So that's my, my evidence as a Russian that, hey, which I'm not, uh, that uh, the NATO wants to destroy us. See, we just had to, uh, how do you call it, uh, start a little uh, special operation to show you who was behind Ukraine. 
the same here. Now, my friends, the thing is these guys follow the interests orders, unleash our military with our tax uh, uh, money, which I don't think there's anything like that anymore because uh, we don't have enough. We just print money. We. They print money and they borrow money. That's what they do. But hey, if that works, I guess uh, we'll see until the bubble bursts. And guess who's going to be affected? You and I. Nevertheless, I predict the Houthis will attack targets, unfortunately civilian targets inside the United States of America and Great Britain or whomever uh, they consider that they were attacked, like the Germans also participated, Bahrain also participated, uh, Australia somehow participated, New Zealand and Korea also, it seems like, and the Netherlands and Denmark. All these guys supported the uh, illegal attack in self-defense now, in self-defense, my bad. So when, when it's going to happen, then the narrative will be, we have to destroy them now because look, see, they are uh, what we said we are, or they are. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.